what happened where he passes by when he got born again. I'm thankful to testify that I wasn't up a in, in life when I got saved. My father-in-law talks about being 40 years old. I'm glad I wasn't 40. All right. I feel like I'm glad I wasn't 29. But I'm glad I was 12 years old. Glad as a 12-year-old boy that I saw myself in need of Jesus. I don't know what I had done or what was so bad other than I knew about sin. And I knew what I was a sinner. I knew things at 12 years old that most 12 years old year olds ought not know. I'd experienced things that 12 year olds ought not experience. That I sheltered, tried to shelter my kids from. But Brother Dean, I knew about it. But I do know this. I know I sat under in, in the preaching a few times. And I recall, I still recall it this day. My old Uncle Charles Prime. Standing in the pulpit, he was, he, he was asked to preach at 10 Mile Baptist Church. And I, I'd been to church and I'd heard preaching, but I'd never really heard preaching. And I remember that man standing on a Sunday morning, preaching about dying, preaching about going to heaven. I remember sitting about where Brother Will sitting right there, right beside my, between my mom and my mama. I remember thinking, well, I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. Remember what I thought? What I thought was, you know what I'll do? I'll preach. That way I'll be sure and go to heaven. Well, I wasn't about 10 years old at the time, something like that. Time went on. But I'm glad there come a day when the, the Holy Spirit of God come by and convinced me that I was lost. Convinced me I needed to be saved. It didn't take me long. I'm glad for somebody to tell me what I had to do to be saved. Glad God it broke me to the place where I wasn't prideful enough that I still and said, no, I don't want to do it this way. I'll surely there's another way. But I admitted my need. And in that old preacher's house, right beside his desk, when he slid off in the floor and went to pray. I never had prayed in my life anything other than now I lay me down to sleep. But that day I slid off beside him. I never had been on my knees before to pray until that day and I was just following the man of God I, don't, I could have stood straight up the same thing happened when I got on my face and I asked the Lord to save my soul my life changed that day I was, well, Dean, I was only 12 years old but what happened to me as a 12 year old boy I ain't got over it today I still hadn't got over it. Now there's times that I, my teen, I'm ashamed of the things I've done right. in some of my teenage years. Right. But I'm glad God didn't cast me aside. Yeah. Yeah. God didn't yeah. throw me away. Yeah. I'm glad that there was a day when He said, "You can come on back now." Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad about 17 years old, yeah. being a senior in high school, I said, "I'm tired this way. I'm tired of the way I'm living. I'm tired of, of being this way." And I remember the day I ran from the third pew on the right side of 10 Mile Baptist Church and I slid up into an altar there and I don't know what I said but I know what I did when I got right with God and how God made a difference yeah. I'm thankful today that I'm not the person that I used to be not the man that I used to be I ain't never been a man that was lost but I was sure going to hell just like a man that was lost I was a boy that was lost since I've been saved, I ain't always lived like a saved man. I'm glad God said, boy, I forgive you that. I'll cast you, I'll cast you sin as far as the east is from the west. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm glad the old man's passed away. For those of you this morning that's hanging on to religion, that you're hanging on to your trip in the baptistry, that you're hanging on to something you said or somebody that told you something, you're hanging on to something that a man done for you or a man done to you. Let me tell you something. You're hanging on to something that ain't going to work when you face the Lord. If, you, if, you're, if you're trusting in anything other than what Jesus did on Calvary's old rugged cross, you're trusting in something that's going to let you die and go to hell. Would you listen to the song this morning? The old man is dead. Of mine. I've 
not seen for some time. Will stop by and ask me where I've been, what's on my mind. They wonder why I'm not drinking and still painting this old time red. Tell them I'm serving Jesus now and the old. Church after hearing what the preacher said. 